Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Football Manager 2024 as we continue our road to glory run with Farsley Celtic in the Premier League. A couple of very important games today, same as last time, actually. We've got a second leg Champions League game followed by an FA Cup game uh, to get some pretty tough teams. Uh, we'll see what we can do here. Uh, we have had a little bit of a slip up in Premier League play, unfortunately. Uh, we're still in third place. Hopefully we can hold on, be top four, and get back in the Champions League again next year. And, but we've been dealing with a lot of injuries as well. Let's go ahead and get right into the episode, and I will talk about everything that's going on. All right, here we are. As you can see, we did lose against Man City. Uh, only by a goal, um, but it's a loss is a loss, right? And that's really what gave uh, Man United the opportunity to pass us. They're currently in second. We are in third. We'll take a look at that in just a moment. Jamis just picking up the only goal in that game. Uh, we then went away, played a friendly in between here. Um... And then the next game, Arsenal, was actually our first home game back in our newly revamped stadium. So no longer in the Leeds Stadium. Uh, we're back in our 22,000 capacity stadium here. Uh, but the moment we got our stadium back, I asked the board to expand the stadium again. <laughs> and so they are approved to expand it up to, what was it, 28? Uh, it doesn't say here, but it's like 28,000 or something like that. Uh, so a little bit a little bit bigger. Uh, I think it was almost 29,000. So we're definitely continuing to get as much increase as we can because I think we could field out a much bigger stadium if allowed. Um, but as you can see, we did draw against Arsenal, which is sad considering we had beaten them four to nothing previously. Uh, Christensen picking up the only goal in that game. Uh, we did, however, this is a good result. Uh, we did, however, uh, get a draw against FC Bayern away from home, one to one with Lacombe picking up the only goal there. Lacombe playing striker for us because Jamisos was out injured. So Jamisos injured, Rippet injured. It has been a rough go of things with injuries, but good to see Lacombe uh, picking up a goal in that game. I mean, he does have, what, like 16 finishing? Yeah, I mean, he's got his physicals are pretty bad for uh, a young striker. His finishing is amazing, though, so take that for what you will. Uh, but we do have a good opportunity uh, with home field advantage to sneak out a win over FC Bayern here and continue on in the Champions League, which would be insane to me, but uh, you never know. And then we play the game against Chelsea here, who we have beaten uh, fairly recently. Uh, as far as injuries, like I said, we have uh, still the injury to Ripa. He's still out for a couple more weeks. Yaroslav just picked up an injury. Isela coming back from injury. Holek, Jamistos, and Christensen all coming back from injuries. So kind of a tough run of things there, unfortunately. Um, other than that, what else did we see? Oh, do I, do I still have it in the inbox? Oh, so bad. Uh, we have number one, number two, number three, and number six, I think, on the next gen list, as well as like three or four others in the list. So we've got, I think, eight of the top 50 next gen. And of those eight, we have the top three uh, next gen rated uh, um, Wonder Kids. So that's pretty awesome. I think it went um, Jamistos, maybe number one, with Ivazian, I think, number two, or I might gotta have those, might have those flip flopped. Ivazian might be number one. Jimmy's was number two. And then third was... Mm, was it Yaros? No, Yaros was 22. Who was it? Maybe it was Christensen? No, I don't think he counts. I actually don't remember who the third was. Do not remember? It's on the board. But we do have three in the top uh, 50, which is pretty awesome. Uh, well, three. Three more than three. We have three in the top. Three is what I meant to say. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and get into today's game, though. Today, we are playing, again, a kind of a piece-together squad here, doing the best we can to get something going for us because of all the injuries, suspensions, things like that. Uh, so here's what we got. We got Lara and Goal, O'Brien on the left, Holuk on the right, Avazi and Safin in the middle, JJ and Ray ahead of them, Chewing on that left wing, Manrique back on that right wing for the injured uh, Christensen. Rodriguez as our shadow striker with Jamisos back. He can only play 75 minutes, but hopefully that is enough to get us what we need. And then we could sub on like Lacombe or, or somebody into that striker role. Let's go. I mean, we have a chance. We don't need to win the Champions League this year. And I'm not, not expecting us to by a long shot. But winning another game, another another round here would be pretty awesome. And we definitely have a chance. If we can hold um, FC Bayern to a 1-1 draw in their stadium, then there's no reason we can't come into our stadium and do something amazing here. Oh, are we still? 
Did we rent back the lead stadium again? I didn't notice that. Um, we might have rented it back because we're doing modifications to our stadium again. I did not notice that because we definitely don't have 42,400 seats in our stadium. Corner kick coming in from Enrique here. Let's get an early go here, guys. Come on. Avazian's there. Yes! Go for Avazian. Gets us on the board early here. That is what you like to see. Fans are going wild. Can we do the impossible? Oh, just right in his face. Sorry, buddy. Can we possibly win the Champions League first go at it? I no, no, there's no way. There's no way. No way. Okay, no more highlights now. We're good. We're done. We're good. Two shots, two on target. Three shots now, three on target. Not a lot of shooting there. Uh, first half of the game here. All right, here's a throw and coming in from Holek into Jamistos. Jamistos back to Holek. Holek to Ray. Ray back over to Safin. Come on, guys. Get one more here. Evazian. Up to O'Brien. Come on, O'Brien. 16-year-old O'Brien playing in a Champions League game against FC Bayern. It's got to be a dream come true. O'Brien over to JJ. JJ to Ray. Ray up to uh, Chiwunga. Chiwunga just gets clobbered there. Well, it didn't look that much of a clobbering. But I have a feeling this will be a penalty shot. And I guess we'll take it. <laughs> I'm not going to say no. no. All right. Come on, uh, Rodriguez. Punch it in the back of the net here. Good shot. It's a good way to go into halftime here, guys. Come on. FC Bayern is a tough team. This is a major win. We can pull this thing off. Come on, guys. It's 45 minutes. We make it to the next round. That is, that's winning already. We have won the Champions League. And I, what I mean by that is, I don't care if we lose in the next round. We have already overachieved everything we thought we could do. If we just make it to the next round, that would be amazing. Um, JJ on a yellow. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, we got to get JJ out of here. It's going to be, uh, it's going to be months coming back in for you. No, I'm sorry. Knights is there. I didn't see Knights sitting there. Knights comes in. <laughs> okay. Um, we do need to get Jamisos out in the last sub. Chunga, Chunga swap would be Yaroslav, who's not here today. Don't really have anybody else I could bring in, so Chunga's just going to have to figure it out. don't know. Honestly, I'm not really feeling anybody right this second. I'm kind of feeling just let the boys play and do some subs later. Uh, we got to get some fresh legs out here. Uh, O'Brien's a little bit tired. Let's get O'Brien out. We'll bring in Lawal for O'Brien. And then I think we're going to go ahead and get Jimmy Swiss out. And we're going to bring Lacombe in. He's not amazing, but he does. I mean, he can't. He's got a good finishing there, so we'll see what he can do from that spot. All right, I think we're gonna go with that. Come on, free kick coming in from who is that? Twenty-four is Rodriguez. I think we're off sides. It looked good. It looked fancy, but I think Chiwung was up. Maybe not. Are you kidding me? I thought he was clearly off sides. They just did not cover him at all. Oh, no. He's definitely not off sides. They just let him go. Wow. What a play. Well, guys, uh, unless we do something really dumb right now, 
We might be moving on here. Okay, I think we will bring Chilunga out then. Let's bring in Mr. Butler here. Youngster can come in, take that spot. And then just because just we got to get this guy some rest at this point. If we're up three goals, surely bringing our youngsters on. Not going to kill us here. I think Ray needs to come out. Let's go ahead and bring Munz in for Ray. And we'll go with that. I mean, we've just absolutely dominated FC Bayern today. What is going on? We've broken, F we've broken football manager, guys. <laughs> we broke the game. <laughs> I mean, we'll take it, right? I mean, what? We'll take it. Wow. What a win. Okay. I, I don't know what this means. It's interesting. Got 9 million pounds. That's what that means. We got Real Madrid next. Currently first in their lit division. So, yeah, <laughs> it's going to be tough. Um, did it say where that game was being played at? It says at Farsley. Okay, the, 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 the numbers were wrong then. Because there's no way we had 42,000 people there. Yeah, it was just wrong. It, it, the numbers in the in the write-up were bad. We did sell out, though. Uh, 22,884 is, I think, a sellout crowd. All right, cool. Well, there we go. Uh, we'll be right back for game number two against Chelsea. Hopefully, we can continue that form. Because it would be, like I said, I already said before, we'd love to win the FA Cup this year. All right, we are back for our game against Chelsea. Uh, before we get into this, though, I will say... Uh, we got a surprising email. We have scored the record number of goals by a team in the Champions League. We have 40 goals so far this season in the Champions League, which is a record. The next highest was uh, Real Madrid at 37. So you're thinking, go back through the history of the Champions League, and we are, first time out here, the, the, the most goal scored of anybody. What have we done? Like, um, I mean, to be fair, the only game we did not win in the entire time we've been in the Champions League, or well, two games, I guess, was had the one game against Tottenham and the one game against FC Bayern, which were draws. Every other game we've won. So we have put up quite a few goals. Um, and we're still going, obviously. So it's kind of crazy. Well, let's get into this. See if we can get, oh, this team we got, we got Larry and Go, O'Brien on the left, Holick on the right, Evazi and Safin in the middle. JJ and Ray ahead of them. Chiwunga on the left wing. Christensen back. A little bit injured, but he should be able to play at least 75 minutes on the right wing. Rodriguez as our shadow striker, of course. And Jamisto's back again. 75 minutes of play as our striker. Um, Ripa is not... He's a little... I and mean, we might see him before the end of the season. I don't know. I don't know if we will or not, but we might. Sad. Sad to have him injured as much as he was. Didn't he get injured like... Like the week that we sent Huber out on loan or something like that? <laughs> I vaguely remember that. Come on, guys. We have played outstandingly. 90,000 people in attendance here. We have played so well. Let's keep this run of form going. Technically, we're still in a title run for the Premier League. I guess mathematically, it's still technically possible. Uh, but very, very, very unlikely. Four shots, one on target. Come on. All right, we're getting a highlight here. Christensen with the free kick just gives it away, unfortunately. And we're about to give up a goal here, aren't we? Guys, that's not not what we want to do. Oh, we're going to give it. Oh, how did that not get called? Holick with the ball. He gets it up to Chiwunga. Chiwunga cutting across the middle here. Just gives it away. But there's Ivazian trying to get it up to one of our guys. Not able to get to one of them. I think we're still going to give up a goal here just based on the way this highlight's feeling. Not surprised at all. A lot of Chelsea fans out there today. I mean, the team's played a lot of games. So I know the team's still pretty tired. 
There's our Avazian over to O'Brien. Come on. O'Brien to Chewunga. Chewing it. I'm not sure what that was, buddy. Good move by the, uh, the guy who's already scored on us. A little bit lucky on that one. I mean, can we at least get another shot on target before the half? Apparently not. All right, come on, guys. It's, we're not. We're not. It's not out of the woods now. We're not, not out of the out of. I, don't, I can't talk. <laughs> it's not out of hand yet, is what I meant to say. Um, yeah, we have to be better. I agree. Eight shots, three on target. Okay, we're starting to get some shots on target. Oh, O'Brien. and Okay, Lawal's going to come in immediately. That's for sure. Do we get Holick out? I'd really like to leave Holick in there. I need to get one of these other guys out that is just not playing well. Let's bring Manrique in for Christensen. Based on the strong lack of highlights for us, and I'll actually them getting another goal right there, I don't think we're getting it this time, guys. I think our FA Cup run is over, which is sad because we know we could beat Chelsea. I mean, if we can put up the number of goals we just put up against FC Bayern, then Chelsea is nothing <laughs> compared to FC Bayern right now. At least not this year. Uh, Chiwungo needs to come out for Yaroslav. Um, even Rodriguez is struggling. JJ can come out for Knights. And we're going to say probably the last one for Lacombe coming in for Jamistos. I think that's going to be it. I mean, every highlight is, is Chelsea's. Yeah, I mean, F football managers decided that we are not going to win today because they're not even giving us a highlight, which seems a little, little kind of unlikely that we would not even get a highlight. Come on, Mary Kay. Let's start something off here. It's across. Nothing, nothing. Rodriguez. Like, I mean, if that's our highlight, gee, thanks, FM. All right, it's going to have to be Lacombe coming for Jamisos. And that is that. Well, our FA Cup run is over, guys. It's unfortunate, but... Of all the things that we could lose, it's probably the one I care about the least. It'd be nice to win. Not really the end of the world that we don't. I don't want to lose it this way, though. I would say that's probably the most accurate thing to say. I think we know that we're better than Chelsea, and they just showed up today, though. All right. No worries. Life goes on. Ugh, man, we injuries we've had has just been a nightmare. All right, we got Liverpool, Middlesbrough, and then of course Real Madrid. So I guess I will show you guys the second leg of Real Madrid and possibly just the Aston Villa one. Just even if we lose, we don't win obviously the Premier League, which I don't think we can. Um, it'd still be nice to see if we can beat the, beat the best, right? If we can go out there and beat Aston Villa for the second time this season, then we just know that. It's the other people that didn't help us out a little bit. Uh, we'll see how it goes. But uh, I think it's, don't think it's possible for us to catch them. I'd, I'd have to do the math. Um, I mean, if anything, right now, we just want to catch Man United at this point. So we'll see. But uh, we'll be back. And that's probably going to be the last game of the season. I don't think there's any point showing the Newcastle Brighton game unless for some reason we are still in it for the championship um, but, or the Premier League. But I doubt it. So expect second leg of Real Madrid and. Aston Villa as our last two games of this really good season. Really, really strong season. 
and hopefully we can repeat again next year. But I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you, and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.